What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Show & Tech. So I have in front of me the Google Pixel 6 Pro and you know, the phone's been out for a couple of days now and everyone's just been talking about the cameras. No one talks about all of the other features that were highlighted when this phone was first presented to us. So today what we're gonna do is a little, it's gonna be a weird one because I'm gonna have to talk to myself a lot, but I'm going to be speaking in French and seeing just how accurate the live translation is on this phone. Because with the Tensor chip and all of that stuff, Google has said that, you know, this is going to be the most accurate. It's going to have that machine learning, so it's going to become more accurate over time. And I just want to see how viable is this really when it comes to trying to have a conversation with someone that speaks a different language. And that is going to be huge for when you're traveling. It's going to be huge for even if you're just out in public, something happens. Let's say you witness a motor vehicle accident and the person that's involved in the crash doesn't speak the same language as you. They might speak Mandarin or they might speak French or whatever it is. Uh, the way that you actually get into that menu is very simple. So you turn your phone on, you're going to, I just do it this way. I swipe up from the bottom and then you can just type in translate. So it's gonna bring up the translation app at the top of your screen there. And then from here, it's pretty simple. You've got three options and then you've got your language options at the top as well. So we are going to be going between English and French. Um, and it has this button right here for conversation. So when you click that button, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to listen to the conversations that are being had around the phone. And it's gonna immediately start to translate and transcribe uh, what's being said so that the person on the other side can either read what you're saying or just listen to the prompting from the speakers. And the reason why I haven't clicked it yet is because it starts right away. So there's also another option in there. So you have the option to hit conversation, choose the two languages, and then slowly go back and forth between which language is being spoken. So if I speak English and my counterpart is speaking Japanese, I can press the English side, say what I have to say. It'll tell them what I said, then they can hit the Japanese side and so on and so forth. Or you have the option to choose the automatic setting where it just automatically picks up who's talking and then translates that live. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna to try to have a short conversation with myself. Mind you, this is super weird to do on your own. One and number two, my French isn't the greatest, but we're gonna try. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit conversation and then we are going to start. Alors bonjour et bienvenue à ma chaîne. So hello and welcome to my channel. How long have you had a YouTube channel for? Depuis combien de temps avez-vous une chaîne YouTube 4? Alors j'ai commencé ma chaîne en 2019 pendant Noël. So I started my channel in 2019 during Christmas. Have you had a lot of success with your channel so far? Avez-vous eu beaucoup de succès avec votre chaîne jusqu'à présent? Oui, je pense que c'est bien fait. Maintenant, j'ai environ 7000 subs. Yes, I think it's well done. Now I have around 7100 euros. When did you start speaking French? Quand avez-vous commencé à parler français? J'ai commencé de apprendre comment parler français dans le 4e année pendant que j'avais 11 ans. I started learning how to speak French in fourth grade when I was 11. Has it been difficult learning? L'apprentissage a-t-il été difficile? Oui, c'était un peu difficile car il y avait personne dans ma famille qui parlait français. Yes, it's a bit difficult because there was no one in my family who spoke French. Does anybody else in your family speak French now? Oui, mon petit frère, lui, il a commencé à apprendre en quatrième année aussi. Yes, my little brother, he started to learn in fourth grade too. Does he still use his French today? Utilise-t-il encore son français aujourd'hui? Pas toujours, mais il est en train de voyager, alors il commence à le apprendre une autre fois. So they start to learn it another time. Do you have any friends that still speak French? 
être des amis qui parlent encore français? Non, la plupart de mes amis qui étaient à école avec moi dans le programme d'immersion ont perdu leur habilité de parler en français. So we'll stop it there. You get the idea. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with just how good of a job it does. It is pretty precise. However, there are times when um, it picks up the wrong word, for example. So if it's something that the phone has not heard you say before, such as a name, I have a very unique name, Shamar. So um, it would take a while for the machine learning to pick up on that and understand that whenever it hears that sound, Shamar, uh, it would take the spelling from the phone and plug it in. Now, because I don't have my full uh, Google profile on this phone yet, that's part of the reason why it doesn't have anything to draw from when it hears that arrangement of letters. If I would have had my actual Gmail and Google profile set up on this phone currently, then I suspect that it would have a very high likelihood of actually pulling that information down. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. I wish that I spoke different languages so I could see that all the languages are as accurate as um, what's going on with the English and French there. But I have to say that I am pretty impressed overall. So the other feature that you have is the transcription feature. So if I hit transcribe and I just start talking in French, it's going to automatically translate what I'm saying from French into English or just write it down in English for me. So when I hit transcribe, alors je suis en train de parler en français pour voir si la téléphone est capable de immédiatement écrire tous les mots que je suis en train de dire. Je crois que ça va être quelque chose qui est un peu difficile car moi je parle très vite et je suis un peu loin du euh, du euh, j'ai oublié j'ai oublié le mot pour microphone en français alors je suis un peu loin donc je pense que il va avoir un problème avec ça et avec la précision à cause du fait que je n'ai pas euh, si proche au téléphone mais je pense que il a fait une bonne job maintenant de Écoutez à ce, que je suis, à ce que je suis en train de dire et de le mettre dans une façon qui est assez euh, facile à lire. Donc, ça, c'est une autre façon d'avoir un dialogue avec quelqu'un qui ne parle pas la même langue que vous autres. Euh, c'est une façon de, où tu peux lui donner le téléphone et juste parler et là, ils sont capables de juste lire. Donc, si tu ne veux pas faire l'autre façon qui est un peu plus compliquée car c'est automatique et ça va euh, écouter à tous les autres personnes qui parlent dans le même environnement que vous autres. Là, ça, c'est une autre façon d'utiliser les mêmes... Euh, c'est une façon d'utiliser le, le même euh, programme. So, I'll turn that off. And if I go back and read what was said, and see how accurate it was. So I'm speaking in French to see if the phone is able to immediately write all the words that I'm saying. I think it's okay. It's something that is a little difficult because I speak very quickly and I'm a little far from, I should have said the mic. I forgot the word in French. So I'm a bit far away. So I think it's going to have, or he's going to have it said, uh, a problem with that and with the precision, precision addicted. That's an issue. You, you do that. I haven't sat close on the phone, but I think it has done a good never now to listen so it's not a hundred percent accurate like i said but i think if we were to sit here and do the same activity um you know on a daily basis or whatever where i'm i'm using it more often than not then it's just going to get better and better now obviously the situations that i brought up for using this feature are like your one-offs where you know someone got into an accident you're trying to help or you're on a trip and you're in mexico for a couple of days even still, though, it, it portrays enough of the message that both of you are going to have an understanding of each other that's going to facilitate having that genuine conversation. So I think that it's a very great feature. It's really cool to see that on a phone. And honestly, I when I looked at all the features of the 6 Pro, you know, you've got that fast screen, you've you got a bigger battery, and you've got the capability to take all these nice photos, but practical non-gimmicky things like this 
are also what helps to set this phone apart from other phones out there. So hopefully this was useful to somebody out there. Um, you know, maybe you're a teacher or you're about to go travel yourself and you're in the market for a new phone and want to find something that is going to help you in your travels, then I would say that this is definitely that guy. So that's it for me. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below or anything else that you would like to see in terms of features from the Google Pixel 6 or 6 Pro. Much love as always, stone up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Au revoir. <laughs>